everyone, Dr. David Culley here with Synergy Wellness in New York City. So today we have uh, Marie, uh, we'll call you Marie for short, and um, we have, she has a type 2 hiatal hernia, which we've done videos on her, she's had dramatic results, but we sent her home with a uh, tool, a self-help tool that I created. So um, we're just doing a follow-up and we've been going through some questions and asking her how she feels using a visual analog scale. So uh, I'm gonna go through the questions again and I'll, I'll go through with you guys afterwards, um, you know, how she's been, uh, she's been doing. And this started, the first questionnaire we did was September 18th. Uh, the next questionnaire we did was about three weeks later on October 5th. And her symptoms were down immensely um, using the tool. And then everything from the GERD, acid reflux, the stomach bloating and pain, the shortness of breath. That was the worst, though, of all of them, the shortness of breath. Right? Yes. The regurgitation of food and the nausea had gone to almost nothing. Mm -hmm. So now, we're, that was October 5th, it is now October 16th, uh, 2021, and everybody we hand these tools out to right now, so a lot of people have been calling and asking, when is this thing going to be available? I, I looked on your website, I don't see it. Hang, hang tight. Uh, we've done a bunch of trials, and we've done a bunch of testing first and now that we have the final uh, we have one of the final designs um, if not the final um, there might be some small changes to it just to improve it a little bit but it's almost finished it's close and we're checking um, handing them out to people and just checking the results so this is basically a video testimonial um, she started well I'll go over that in just a second here but Marie Angie, okay. Now, um, how often have you been using the tool? One day, one, one day off. Tomorrow. Okay, so every other day? Every other day. Yes. Okay. And have your symptoms changed since using the tool? Yes. Significantly, moderate, mild, neither better or worse, or was yes. there a decline? It was, it was, it was a good, for me, it's a, it's a dramatic change because Sometimes I just felt like it twice in the whole since September 19, 18, I'm sorry. I felt like a little, a little bit of uh, uh, reflux, but I started using the, the device as soon as I started feeling the, the symptom. And then I noticed after 30 minutes or 40 minutes, it would go away. It would go away. And it was okay. very nice. So, so yes, it is a huge improvement for me, honestly. That's great. Very so, grateful. so the sorry about the microphone's not great, and mm -hmm. sh for those of you that can't, some of you may understand her accent better than mine. Uh, sometimes I speak fast, but um, she said that she everything had gotten better since September, but this month or the last few weeks, she had gotten a few bouts of uh, acid reflux, and right away she would go and use the tool and notice that within 30, 40 minutes that it would go away. Um, now, whether or not um, it would have gone away on its own, I, that I don't know. You could certainly test that next time you get up out of it. Don't use the tool and see, but yeah. I'd certainly be curious, you know, yeah. as to that. Yeah. But um, you're not taking any PPI medication, and yeah. she's got a type 2, folks. Mm -hmm. So first thing we want to make sure is there's no strangulation, no bleeding um, in the intestines there or in the stool. And uh, once we've ruled that out and abdominal uh, aortic aneurysm, things like that, um, it is safe for her, but she will still have that high hernia. We're not fixing or curing the hernia. If she has a type two. Let me, you know, most of you have a type one, okay? Type one is not as severe. So, um, okay, so you said significant or moderate improvement? Significant. Yeah, I would say probably at least 90%? Yes, or? yes. Okay. It's good. Um, and what symptoms do you still experience? Uh, uh, sometimes a little bit of shortness of breath, but it's not too, too much. You know, okay. 
So that's still yes. the the most difficult part to get mm -hmm. rid of the shortness of breath. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sounds what good. aggravates your symptoms? My so symptoms. Um, lying down, sleeping. Uh, okay. Laying down, maybe you know, completely. Uh, laying down completely. So it's are you good. not able it's to sleeping. do that? Are you not able yes. to lay down yet? I I do. I can do that, but sometimes I cannot. You know, if I eat something. You know, I cannot lay down, you know, I, I need to wait to do so, better digestion. So. Yes, you do need yes. to wait about, I would say, two hours. So you yes. should eat two hours before you lay down and yes. go to bed. That's what, I, that's, that's what I'm saying. So if, okay. if, I, if I feel something like after I eat, if I lay down, I cannot do that. That's, that's okay, so as long as you give it two hours, mm -hmm. you're okay. What yes. about bending over, walking, or running? Does that aggravate it? Um, I, I haven't tried running. Okay. But, you know, I, walk, I, I do walk, but I haven't tried running, but it's, no, I don't feel... Okay, what about bending that. over? No, no. Okay. That used to bother you, the bending yes, over used to bother her, by the way. Yes. So that's good. That's all better. Mm -hmm. Okay, and what about acidic foods? Does that still aggravate you? Um, a little bit, yes. Tomatoes and... Tomatoes sometimes, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay, so she still has a little bit of issues with that. Some mild shortness of breath. Mm -hmm. uh, how long do you feel relief from your symptoms after using the tool? Um, I'm maybe in two days. After two days using, of relief? Yes. Okay. All right. And do you feel like the tool is helping you manage your symptoms? Yes, okay. definitely. Yeah. And on a scale of 1 to 10, how is your GERD or your acid reflux? Maybe one or two. <laughs> one or two, great. Yes. So that's down from a two last time. Yes. And when she first started, it was a ten. Um, mm -hmm. And then after a few visits, it went down to a six. But now since she's been using the tool, it's down to a one. Uh, stomach pain and bloating, one to ten scale? Um, one, maybe. <laughs> one, okay. Yes. And zero means no pain, no okay. Pain, yeah. Shortness of breath? Maybe one or two. One or two, okay. So not as bad as I thought she would yes. say. And regurgitation of food. Oh, uh, that that also improves. Um, uh, maybe like a one or two. Okay. Mm -hmm. One or two, mm -hmm. okay. And nausea. No, thank no. God. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, great. So still some regurgitation of food if she eats too late at night. Smile, mild shortness of breath. That's probably something you need to work on with the exercises and mm -hmm. the breathing, the breathing exercises, and maybe even some cardio, incorporating some cardiovascular exercise yes. um, would be helpful, of course, with good postures, you know, mm -hmm. but um, we're going to give you some new exercises as well to work on not only your posture, but some, some cardiovascular stuff to... Mm -hmm. Okay, um, so that's great. So now what we're going to do is we're going to watch her use the tool. I want to make sure she's using it correctly, and we're going to use this time to check on that. So I'm going to have you lay on your back. Okay, now you have one of these at home. Did you bring it with you? Oh, my God. No? What's going to bring it? That's okay. I have, I have one here. I have a new one here. We're going to open it up. So again, folks, if you're looking for this tool, it's hang tight. It's coming out soon, okay? We're just fine-tuning everything. I, I, I'm a perfectionist. I need to make sure everything's perfect before we give it to everybody. So, yes, my patients are, are guinea pigs in a way, but um, they've, we've had such great success so far, and we're taking this slow. There's, an, a, there's a, a process to this, okay? So hang tight, okay? We're going to watch her do it right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a little bit of gel here. So go ahead and take that. Now, which side down? Here, let's zoom in for everybody. Okay, hold on. Let me let me give you a little bit of gel here on your finger. Go ahead, stick one finger out. Yeah, just a little bit. Oh, okay, perfect. Thank you. Okay, that's all you need is a little like like an like a dime sized. Here. Yep. So what we do is hold on. Let me show you. So uh, what we do is we come from the belly button straight up where the rib and the breastbone is, and you'll come to a stop where the ribs meet, right in the middle there, yep. Yes, and I measure like a one inch, or something like that, close to the... 
you can really take the one side of the blade, the center side of the blade, and just put it right into the sternum there, and the rest of the blade mm -hmm. will. So you want to do more like this. You want to bring the head of this down. Okay. So, so you want to bring the head mm -hmm. down, and you want to flip it around. Watch, watch. Move your hand there. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to flip this blade. This is the the applicator right here. Okay, yes. Okay? So you want to put that facing down. Okay. So put your hand to the side for me for a mm -hmm. sec. Put this hand to the side, yep, just so we can see. Okay, so what you're going to do here is you're going to hold this okay. handle at a 45 degree angle dang to get the blade underneath the rib. Yes. You're going to apply pressure, breathe okay. in and out, slowly apply more pressure. Breathe in and out. Okay. Take your other hand and put it on top of this one. What I do, uh, I try to always know where is this part. Okay. In order to move it, then when I feel the. Well, with a gel, it should make it slippery enough, and then okay. when you move the the uh, the handle over here from the 45 degree angle when you're ready to slide it down. So you're going to want to add pressure mm -hmm. and that pressure that you're adding mm -hmm. is going to be consistent. And once you're ready mm -hmm. and you feel like a pulsation, you want to stop at that pulsation. You can feel a gentle light pulsation. That's okay. Mm -hmm. But once you feel that, just hold there, apply that constant pressure and then take the ball handle mm -hmm. and start bringing it up towards your head. Okay. Maintaining that pressure, maintaining that constant pressure throughout, and then eventually it will slide down. Oh. There you go, see? Now it will slide down. You want to maintain that pressure downward, though, into your stomach, that whole process through. Does that make sense? Yes, no. So now that. she's going to do even better, folks. Now that we got her using it properly, she's going to do even better. Okay. So let's do it again. Yeah. Watch your other hand so we can show everybody how that's done. Okay. So watch what she's doing. She's coming up to her sternum right here yes. where both the ribs come up and meet. Mm -hmm. And then she's placing the blade right in that corner. The top of the blade right here is right at the stern, right where the two ribs meet, right underneath the sternum. Mm -hmm. And this blade is following right here. This blade is following her rib angle. She's going to apply pressure downward onto that handle. Breathe in and out. And if it takes 10, 20 seconds for you to get a good, good pressure, go all the way till you feel that pulsation, till you feel almost like a heartbeat. Then you want to stop and you want to slightly retract back. You don't want to hear a heavy heartbeat. You don't want to feel that. Okay. But I'm not feeling it right now. Okay, so keep going then. As long as you're able to take it, tolerate it, it's not too uncomfortable. And then when you're ready, you're going to maintain that pressure and then turn that ball handle up towards you. Yes. Yep. Maintaining that pressure. Yes. Turn the ball that way. Okay. You want to keep going up, 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 up. Look, look at the shape of this blade, okay? It's going under here, it's contacting here. By going at this angle, you're, you're sliding it down. You need, to, you need to come from this angle. When you're sliding down, the ball should be up here okay. at a 45 degree angle, mm -hmm. not down here. You start down here, mm -hmm. you come up, you're applying pressure, applying pressure, applying pressure. Applying pressure, that might take a 30 seconds, it might take a minute, and then look, the ball is now 45 degree angle facing you, yes. your head, mm -hmm. and then you slide it okay. down with that consistent pressure. Okay, okay so let's try that again. Mm -hmm. And remember this blade, mm -hmm. you had it at one point like this. Mm -hmm. You don't want that, you want it flat. Okay, yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yep, apply pressure. Mm -hmm. Keep adding pressure. Keep tilting the ball, the handle further up, further up towards your head. You got to go all the way. Yep. 
If you're still applying pressure, you're in a good spot at 12 o'clock there, and then you'll slowly, gradually bring the handle up towards your head at a 45 degree angle and mm -hmm. scoop and slide it down. No, yes. So some of the changes we're gonna make to the new one, we're gonna make that handle shorter. Okay. So you have better leverage to do that. Okay. So just some little things like that. So um, that's why I have you do this. There you go. But you're already sliding it down and you're not at a 45 degree angle quite. Okay. There we go. 45, yes. Yeah, and you wanna maintain a really good steady pressure yes, and do. slide that stomach down. Okay? Yes. All right. So, folks, hang tight. It's coming out soon. We're also making improvements. Thanks for tubing in.